Welcome back, fangirls and fanboys. Today, we're diving into chapter 2 of the thrilling series, Low Tide in Twilight. I am your host, Cece, and I am so excited to continue this incredible journey with you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the hottest and wildest Yaoi podcast on the planet. Get ready to fan yourself because things are about to get steamy. That's right, it's time for Zeal Fujoshi, the show that's all about Yaoi manga. I am Cece, your host, the ultimate Fujoshi, who's always on the hunt for the hottest and juiciest and most thrilling Yaoi manga out there. I've read it all, and I'm not afraid to share my honest and unfiltered thoughts with you. From sweet and romantic love stories to spicy and steamy tales, I got you covered. My reviews are not only informative, but also hilarious. So you can expect to laugh your socks off while I spill the tea on your favorite yaoi manga. But before we start, this podcast is explicit. We'll be discussing mature themes, explicit themes, and all things that makes yaoi manga so delicious. So if you're not comfortable with that, it's probably best you tune out now. Let's get one thing clear though. Spoiler alert, I am not afraid to dish out spoilers. So if you haven't read the manga we're talking about, you might want to skip this episode. But if you're brave enough to join us, we promise to make it worth your while. If you're ready to join us on this spicy adventure, grab a cold drink and a cozy blanket and get ready to join me on this wild ride of passion, laughter, and all things Yaoi. Welcome to Zeal Fujoshi. In this chapter 2, Taiju and Weiyun are discussing what Weiyun needs to do to pay off his debt. Taiju is concerned about the total amount of debt and how Weiyun can pay it off. This is a tense moment as we can sense the weight of his debt and the desperation he must be feeling at this moment. Taiju pro- pr- proposes a way for him to pay off his debt, but Weiyun doesn't like the proposal and refuses it flat out. This is where we start to see the conflict between these two characters. Weiyun is determined to find another way to pay off his debt, but Taiju is insistent that his proposal is the most viable option. But as the conversation continues, we realize that Weiyun doesn't have much of a choice in the matter. Taiju is proposing that um, that kid, who we know is Weiyun's brother, can also pay off the debt. Um, at this shocking moment, we can feel Weiyun's inner turmoil as he struggles with that proposition in the end um Aeon just accepted a different kind of um taiju's proposal um and we're left wondering what this means for the future of the story will we be able to pay off his debt or will this plan backfire in unexpected ways. Once again, this chapter leaves us on the edge of our seat, eager to see what happens next. We can't wait to dive deeper into the lives of these two intriguing characters and unravel the mysteries that surround the two of them. And there you have it folks, chapter 2 of Low Tide in Twilight is another thrilling installment in this incredible series. Stay tuned for the next episode where we'll continue to explore the complex world that these characters are in. Until then, keep fangirling. Attention to all yaoi manga lovers out there. Are you a talented individual with a passion for all things Fujoshi? If so, Zealed Fujoshi wants you. We're on the hunt for a team member to join our passionate and hilarious crew. If you have a knack for reviewing yaoi manga, a love for all things is spicy and steamy, and a desire to share your opinion with the world, then we want to hear from you. Join our team and help us spread the Fujoshi spirit to all corners of the world. 
Whether you're a writer, editor, or a social media guru, we want your talent and expertise to take Zild Fujoshi to the next level. So, if you're ready to embark on this exciting journey with us, reach out to us in the description below and let's make magic happen. Join the Zild Fujoshi team today. Let's show the world what the Fujoshi spirit is all about. And that's a wrap. Fellow Fujoshis and Fudanshis, we hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Zild Fujoshi, where we dished out all the hottest and juiciest yaoi manga. Remember to follow me on social media where I share even more yaoi goodness and behind the scenes content. And if you're loving the manga I am reviewing, don't forget to support the author creator by purchasing their work and spreading the word to your fellow Fujoshis and Fudanshi friends. Thanks for tuning in Zild Fujoshi and we'll catch you on the next episode. Until then, keep the Fujoshi spirit alive.